two. It's your boy Martin the Pendant, like always. If y'all new to the channel, sub, like, turn on notifications, y'all notifies go crazy, go stupid, man. Man, oh we I got a juicy ass story time for y'all, bro. Before we start this story time, bro, I wanna give a shout out to my man's boss Justin, bro, because I was doing a Fortnite stream earlier, bro, and he was telling me I need to start doing more story times, you feel me? And like, you know, like I just I don't know why I even been doing that. Cause you know, like I don't know. I just don't be having motivation no more than just to do YouTube. You feel me? I just be wanting to do music, bro. But like that kind of gave me the motivation just to come back and just you know grind and shout out my YouTube. You feel me? Do story times and shit. So I got y'all. Shout out to Boss Justin. I got you, my guy. I'ma pin your comments as you comment on this video, bro. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So I wanted to do a story time on the <laughs> damn. I fucked up already. Hold on. All right, y'all. So look, I want to do a story time on the time my um. I basically got locked up, bro. And what was this? Was this, I wanna do a story time on the first time I got locked up. Now I don't know if I wanna do it in the same video or the next video, but I don't know. We gonna see how long this video is first and you know, let's get it. But um, basically it was me and my ex, bro. She, she, she toxic, she petty. She toxic, she petty, she toxic, she petty. And y'all probably like, why is she toxic? Why is she petty? I'm gonna tell y'all something. So look, I'm just gonna give y'all a couple examples. Time to get back to the story time. You feel me? So one time we was on break. Well, I was on break. She picked me up from my work and she took me back to my curb. I stayed 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes away from where I work. You feel me? And basically, um, what happened was was that I had to come back here to fix my glasses. You feel me? I just put some super glue on that bitch because I needed to see. Cause I can't see. Like I'm blind. I can't see shit. You feel me? Um. And then we get in the car and she was like, I'm trying to apply for this loan. Let me get your social security and your ID. Hey yo, what the fuck? Your state ID, um, no, you're not finna use my shit to apply for no loan, you feel me? Like you can use your shit, you feel me? And then she she called her attitude, this and that. And mind you, we like, we like, what like, I don't know, like seven minutes away from fucking my job or whatever, right? So she kicked me out the car on the busy ass street. Now this was like around summertime. No, this was around like, like I started working where I worked, wait, I started working in September. So yeah, 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 yeah. So this happened around like September. Yeah, this happened around September. I had to think about it for a second. And what happened was, was that um, it wasn't cold outside at the time, like how it is. Now it's cold as fuck outside, freezing and shit, but um, she kicked me out the car on a busy street. She like, get out of my car. I got out the car, bro, because you know, like, I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't got time for that shit. You feel me? But this, like, is weird because I started fucking with her after she got me locked up, bro. That's why I got out the car. But th this is the reason why I'm finna get to the story time. So look, this what happened. So basically, um, one day we come in from she. I was in the car with her and we went to go get a car wash, and um, I forgot what the fuck happened. Some bullshit. Happened. I, I was, what the? F I, I'm trying to think what happened. My bad, y'all. Oh, this what happened, this what happened. So basically what happened was, was that uh, I was going through her phone, like, cause we was listening to Juice World. you feel me? She was playing Juice World on her phone. So I, I just ended up going through her phone. Cause she, she got like a notification on her, so I just clicked on it. And I seen she was about to hang out with some dude that like, like, like that shit blew me, bro. Like she was gonna hang out with some dude and she wasn't even gonna tell me like, who the fuck is this nigga, you feel me? But um, like she was talking about linking up with him and doing other shit with him. Now, that shit blew me, bro. So I'm like, okay. I ain't even gonna say that. I just gave her her phone. She's like, I was like, you going to my phone now? <laughs> you going to my phone now? Shorty, you gave me the phone. You gave me the phone in the first place, the fuck? So some bullshit happened and uh, me and her was in the car just arguing. And like, I just stopped talking to him, bro, because if you argue with me, it's gonna get worse. And I'm toxic. I'm like, I'm toxic and all, you feel me? Like, once you make me mad, it's, like, I say some disrespectful ass shit that, like, I don't even mean at all, you feel me? Like, that's just me. Like, I can't, I can't control that, you feel me? Like, I can't control it. So, I forgot what, what the fuck I said, but she was like, you gonna get on my car or whatever. And then she she was on the phone with the police. Like, she called 911 or whatever, and she was on the phone with them. And uh, what happened was, was like, oh, I'm in a car and... Oh, she was saying my name to the police dispatcher or whatever, saying that I want to get out the car. Like, how the fuck am I gonna get out the car if we if we're not in my place? You feel me? Like, we like a whole like 
a little far from my place, you feel me? We're like a whole 15 minutes away, you feel me, 20. So, fuck yeah. She, the, um, this pastor trans, transfer her to, like, the police department out here, you feel me? Now, this, the police out here, they fucking know me, bro. I'm known out here, bro. I'm known, bro. Like, like, this shit crazy, bro. This shit crazy. But they, uh, transfer her to the police department out here, and then, fucking, as soon as she get to the police department down the street, bro, three police officers waiting outside, bro. So she pulled up to the police station with me in the car. Like, she, like, how am I gonna get out of your car if we're not, if I'm not in my place, you feel me? Like, the fuck? So, what happened was the police was there, so I get out of her car, and I started just walking towards my place, you feel me? The police department, like, five minutes away, you feel me? Like, it's five minutes. Nah, if you walking-wise, like, car, it's, like, less than five, like, three minutes. No, it's, like, a minute, you feel me? But walking-wise, that's, like, ten minutes, you feel me? But this, that, it's not that far, it's not at all. So I get out the car, I started walking, like, whoa, 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 where you going, where you going? See, at the time, I didn't know my rights. Now I know my rights. Y'all got, y'all got me fucked up now. But, oh, um, what happened was, was that... You know, oh, you can't go nowhere. We're talking to you and shit. And see, and then they, uh, they was talking to her. They was like, oh, I took some of hers. And then I did actually, cause she pissed me off. I was gonna toss the shit out her keys. But um, they was like, oh, you can't go nowhere, this and that. And you took her keys. And I was like, bro, I ain't take none. <laughs> I was like, I ain't take none, bro. What you talking about? And they was like, woo woo. Let me see. They was like. Let me see your 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 uh your ID. Now see that's why I fucked up. That's why I fucked up. They had no right to to see my ID. My dumb ass gave it to him. See, hey, hey, look. If a police ever asks you for your identification, don't give it to them. Don't give it to them at all. They ain't got no reason to arrest you. You feel me? They ain't got no reason to do none of that. So when they pulled up my shit, I had a warrant out for my arrest. That's a story time on something else. I'll do that in another video. You feel me? But I had a warrant out for my arrest. So they, they arrested me. And so they took me to the police station or whatever. They put me in a holding cell. No, before they put me in a holding cell, they had me, um, they had to check me. You make sure I ain't had like, I don't know what the fuck. Make sure I ain't had like shit on me, you feel me? And like, when you got like strings on and shit, they cut that shit. They, they cut that shit, you feel me? If y'all been locked up before, y'all y'all know, you feel me? But they cut that shit and, um, that I had to spread my hands out on the wall. They had to check like everywhere, you feel me? Like I didn't, my hair wasn't this long at the time, but back then, like a couple months ago, it was kind of short, you feel me? So they didn't really check my hair. But um, after that, bro, they, um, I was sitting in a holding cell for about like, like, I don't know, like 20 minutes or whatever. And I was like, I mean, I gotta, I have a right to make a call, you feel me? So 10 minutes later, they let me make the call. And they was like, oh, your bond's $100. Like, at this at, at the time, I wasn't working, you feel me? Like, I wasn't working at the time, and I was trying to apply for jobs and shit. And, um, and I was waiting on them to hit me back up, you feel me? So my fucking bond was 100 So I'm, I was just calling people, right? And they was like, I was told them. I told everybody, like, my bond is 100 you feel me? I'll pay you back, woo, 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 you feel me? So the reason why it was 100 was because out here, like they had to transfer me to the county where I had the warrant out for my arrest. You feel me? So my bond was a hundred. The hundred, uh, once I paid that hundred, I was straight. You feel me? I was straight. They didn't. Even, that hundred was for me to get out of bond out here. You feel me? But nobody paid for it, so they transferred me to a different county where I got my warrant out for my arrest. You feel me? So, so I'm fucking. What the fuck happened? What happened was was they transferred me out there. So. I'm trying to figure out what happened because my memory kind of bad, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna just probably just like, like cut, like cut the shit out. But um, what happened was was that uh, so I get to the place, right? Um, I uh, what the fuck happened? Same thing, you feel me? They had to make sure I didn't have. When I got to the place, they had to make sure I ain't have like Corona. So they was like asking me questions. And I think one of them, get, yeah, they gave me a shot and shit. I took my mug shot. Like, what, what, the, what else happened? Uh, yeah, I took the mug shot and then they gave me a shot and then I had to wait. And um, I was put in another holding cell. Now this holding cell was different because the first holding cell, it was just, just bars and it was like just brick all around me a fucking phone in the back and the phone don't even fucking work where you can't even make a call but this one was different this one had like glass like just glass all around you like not all around you but like in the front when you first come in and then it was like 
like fucking like uh, uh bench over here and there was like bunk like not bunk beds but like just separated two beds you feel me and i was just in there and it was like another phone in there that phone like that phone worked yeah that phone worked but so i was there just calling people like my bond is 100 oh that's my headphones turning off but um I'm like, I was still calling people like my bonds are hundred, you feel me, this and that, and nobody was really trying to answer the phone for me. I was like, that shit fucked up, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, if y'all ever like, don't I, I don't, I don't wish this on nobody. If y'all ever get locked up, bro, and y'all call people and they don't answer, bro, just just keep that same energy with them because those are the same motherfuckers that want you to like, they they be plotting on you, they want you to like, they don't want you doing shit with your life, bro. When I say. I'm not even gonna like put this person name out there, but you feel me? I, this was one of the main people I called and in my family. I'm calling them, they wasn't answering. So I had to call my ex, right? The one that got me locked up. I'm like, why, why is they not answering the phone? You feel me? Like what the fuck's going on? And she's like, I gave her my my, uh, my mama number and I'm just, I'm, I'm just telling those, right? Ain't no, no beating around a bunch of So I gave my ex my mama number, right? So my ex called her and then my ex told me like, yo mama said you, you oh well you gonna sit in there for a couple days or whatever and that shit pissed me off i'm like my own mama gonna let me sit in jail for some some shit that i ain't got shit to do with you feel me like like what the fuck so that shit blew me so i was like okay it's cool i got her and then like i was calling everybody else i was calling my pops i was calling everybody nobody was answering the phone so i was like you know what it's cool once i figure out a way to get out you feel me it's it's straight, but you know, you feel me? Like, my well, bond's a hundred. Like, imagine your bond being a hundred fucking dollars, bro, and nobody wanna buy you out. A hundred. Like, if I had the money, I'll buy myself out. You feel me? Like, like now, I, I if my bond was a hundred right now, I'll buy myself out. Like right then and there. You feel me? But then when I was when I wasn't working and I was just trying to get job, like apply for jobs, like that shit blew me. You feel me? But um. You feel me? Like, I met this nice-ass, cool-ass, white cellmate. I ain't racist enough, you feel me? I ain't got nothing against white people, but, like, my cellmate, he was white, and he was kind of, like, 30-something. He he looked young. He kind of, like, me. he had, like, a baby face. He had glasses, you feel me? He was cool to sell, you feel me? So I met him, and you feel me? Like, we was just in there just chopping it up, bro. He, he was cool as hell. He was on, he said he was in there because of, like, he was, like, you know, doing drugs and shit, you feel me? And, like, I was just, like, giving him some words, like some wise words, and he was giving me some wise words, you feel me? I was like, bro, maybe you was just probably just sitting here because like, you know, like this is kind of like, yo, yo, let me see how can I explain this? Like, it's kind of like, yo, rehab, you feel me? Like, this is kind of like to help you to like, you know, stop doing drugs, you feel me? He was like, yeah, I get what you're saying, this and that, you feel me? Like, he, he was cool as hell, bro. He was like, what you in here for? I told him, and then I told him how much my bond was. He like, yo, bond a hundred? And nobody, and I was telling him like, Nobody wanna, nobody wanna buy me out. He's like, damn, that's messed up, bro. You feel me? He's like, bro, we gotta get you out of here. You feel me? He was like, you gotta, get, like, he's like, we gotta get you out of here, bro. Like, like he, he was cool as hell. You feel me? Like, I, I hope he got out, bro. Like, this, this day right now, bro. To this day right now, I hope he not in jail, bro. I hope he not doing drugs, bro. I hope he cool as hell. You feel me? But, you feel me? Like, I got locked up. My bond was a hundred. Uh, damn, how much is this? This shit, like, damn, fourteen minutes. Um. Yeah, like I got locked up, my bond is 100, medical uh, cellmate, and then, bro, when I say all of this shit happened, right, like I didn't even say that, like when this happened, so all this shit happened, before I got locked up, when I was in the car with my ex and me and her was arguing and shit, this shit happened around like 12, right, so I got arrested around, yeah, around like 1.30, you feel me, so I was all the way in the jail cell, I was locked up all the way until like fucking 12 o'clock in the morning, you feel me? But it is what it is. So when I got out, the person that bond that bonded wait, oh no no no, this is the interesting part, right? So that last call that I made, right, before I was able to like randomly my pops bonded me out, right? So this is the part when my ex told me like my mama said she was gonna let me sit there, this and that, and she was like, I was like, I told her, I was like, just come bond me out and I'll pay you back. She's also no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not messing with you, you toxic, this and that. And then so I was like, no, no, it's cool, it's whatever. You feel me? And um basically after I got off the phone with her, they was like, you, um, you still didn't, like, they was like, the officer, damn, I don't even know where I left off at because my fucking shit had a low battery, but basically, I got off the phone with my ex, and she was like, I'm gonna have to stay there, and this and that, and the officers was like, all right, your time's up, and they was like, you still didn't, like, find nobody to bond you out, and I was like, nah, and like, just, just like that, bro, instantly, I guess it popped up on the computer, they was like, bro, you've been postponed, I'm like, what's that, they was like, oh, you got bonded out, 
I was like, damn. It's like, I was, I was, bro, I was happy, bro, because, bro, being in jail, bro, it's not for me, bro. It's not for me. You feel me? People could just get locked up and just, like, just go back every single time, bro, and not learn a lesson, bro. But for me, bro, I, I can't go to jail, bro. I, I don't, I can't go to jail, bro. Even though I was in the county, bro, I just, I just can't do it, bro. I can't. But yeah, I got postponed. And they was like, we, your, um, my shit gonna take like an hour in order for them to write the papers and for me to get out of shit. So you feel me? Like, so it didn't take that long. It took like 15 minutes. But I went back in there with my cellmate and we were just in there just talking and shit. You feel me? And, um, yeah. And damn, you know what's crazy is that I got his fucking Facebook name. I forgot it now, but like I had wrote it down. And fucking took it with me and i said i was gonna fucking put some money on his books that i never did because like his shit never showed up like his name didn't show up his facebook didn't show up like nothing i was like damn that's fucked up maybe he got bonded out i don't know but yeah that was that's pretty much it my pops bonded me out you feel me um uh that's pretty much it for this story time if y'all new to the channel man make sure y'all drop us up like turn on notifications also i'm doing a part two that was the end of this story time i got locked up twice you feel me i got locked up twice that time this time that i just explained to y'all it wasn't like it was all right okay but the next fucking story time this went crazy bro this went crazy as fuck bro i'm gonna, I'm gonna just give y'all a little just a little, little hint into it you feel me bro this one bro i was locked up for a day and a half bro I was in a holding cell for hours, a whole day and a half by myself until court. Until they gave me like a court day, bro. But that's that's for another story to tell you. If you are new to the channel, if y'all are new to the channel, sub, like, turn on notifications. Y'all know the vibes are crazy, y'all stupid. Make sure y'all share my videos. Y'all do not be sharing my videos, bro. I don't I don't know why y'all don't be doing it, bro. Like, it's like y'all don't fuck with me. Maybe y'all do, but y'all just don't think about just sharing it. But make sure y'all share my shit. And also, Make sure y'all spam my comments, bro. Like, just, just spam me. You feel me? When y'all spam or just type anything in the comments, bro, that helps me out because, like, it kind of, like, puts my video out there and I get to pop up on people, like, recommendations or whatever, however you say it. You feel me? But um, that's pretty much it, man. If y'all new to the channel, man, make sure y'all do all that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.